David Genty comes from a long line of winemakers. For the last 15 years, he's built up a production of more than 120 acres here in Venijon, southern France. But this hasn't been a vintage year. A storm and then a drought killed off much of his harvest and his yield has dropped to less than half the usual. And the natural disasters come against the backdrop of gathering anger throughout this winemaking region. My aim was to get to 50 acres, except that the day I got there, prices dropped and I had to keep expanding just to keep up the same level of returns. David can no longer afford to pay himself a salary. To break even, he needs to make around 100 euros for every 100 litres of wine he produces, but he's currently getting less than 90. Major distributing chains are, he says, driving prices down and pushing producers to their limit. Since 2003, let's say, prices paid to the producers have dropped by practically 50%. Now I don't think consumers have seen their bottles of wine or any other product halve in price over the same period. But David isn't giving up hope. He believes the current difficulties can be overcome given the right measures. He's pushing for a tax break for farmland or even a 12-month tax exemption. It's just to get us a break from bank repayments, social security, anything that could help us get through the year. We're having a real nightmare, but one day we're going to wake up and get past it. Or if not, it's because the political will isn't there for us to get past it. And then they'll really have destroyed all of French agriculture. Demonstrations and other protests are planned, but if they don't bring fast results, David and others like him could be facing a very uncertain future.